Shabbat Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites for coming here every week to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom. But first and foremost, before we go on, we'd like to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory into the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Kakadash. Double honor unto the apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone that rule well. And the thought is this truth, among many other things. Salutations to all the sincere Akim out there that are fellow laborers spreading the gospel, the good news, you know, which is the truth, man. Throughout the four corners of the earth to the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. You know, and, and you are an Israelite if, according to your father's uh, lineage, because the father has a seed, if, according to your father, you go back to one of these tribes that have just, uh, you know, named, you're an Israelite. And to all y'all that are likened to a speckled bird out there, you might look like a, like a heathen, but again, if you are linked, through your father's house because again the father has a seed the father declares the pedigree if you look like a heathen but this resonates with your soul hey you a jake man and jake is short for jacob and we are jacob descendants hey shalom basham basham you know we are jacob descendants man jacob his name was changed into israel man you know if you uh, yeah, read your uh, can you go to genesis uh, by the way let me jump into that and then then we go to Luke in uh, Genesis uh, 36 because a lot of our people they you know they don't know man they don't know who they are that's why we're out here on the highways and byways and you know like the Apostle Taha said of course on the other hand there's a lot of people that know but a lot of people also they just out here and they don't know the severity of what uh, this is about man this is a serious thing because this world is going down, man. That's basically uh, 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 what we're out here doing, warning our people for the Heavenly Father, man. You know, we're watchmen. Yara Tazah, of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, man. But um, let me see, uh, Genesis 36, and also the so-called white man, Esau, you know, he is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. That's quick, you know? Yeah, read your piece of Just the book of Matthew, chapter uh, 24 and verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Yeah, man, so that's why we are out here, you know, preaching the gospel, because no one should have a cloak for the sins. So, you know, so we, we all, uh, uh, you know, uh, are out here, you know, with the brothers from the elder apostles, the elder bishops, you know, the elders, the up and coming elders. You know, all the elder brothers, you know, everyone, man, to the least, so-called least of us, we out here for the same cause, man. We are ambassadors for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man, representatives for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, proclaiming this truth, man. Also, of course, believing in it, man, because that is uh, something that is very important. Faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, because there's a lot of things out here. You don't have it right here, like, oh, you see, this is what's going on, you know, this is what happens. You know, we can show you through the scriptures, you know, what is going down. But certain things need to happen yet. And like massive in the see people are old cameras out here. But uh that's madness, man. But um and this this is just shows you what the world is about, man. It's nothing but folly, nothing but some 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 madness, man. You know, so Look like some, uh, you know, that, that's the thing, man. Don't know what the hell's going on, but. Yeah, that's, that's the thing that people will come to watch. Yeah, fall, I was, just wanted to say that folly is set in great dignity, you know. And that's what it is. It's a lot of, let's see, like this, let me set the camera up again. So it's good, so it's good. Yeah. Into the water. Uh, yeah, that's good. So yeah, man. Um. So uh, let me see. Yeah, and um. 
Genesis uh, 32 and 28. So yeah, you first? Uh, yeah, uh, Genesis 36 and, and, and 8. Yeah, yeah. God. <coughs> There's the book of uh, Genesis chapter 36 and verse 8. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Yeah, man, so Esau goes to Ashashua, which means wasted. He wasted the wasted way is he. And Edom goes into other one with the M, which means red. And Mount Seir goes into Shayar, which is herring. You know? Because you know them. If you take a look at the Edom and how they were described, you know, these, these people are the uh, are the cave dwellers, the cave beasts, man, uh, the cave uh, beasts, man, the cave monkeys, apes, or whatever. And they call they call you that is a lichen uh, that is fashioned after the, the the image of the heavenly Father and the Son. You know, dark skin, woolly hair, you know. They, these people have the, the, the nerve to call you a monkey. You know, they don't know what they, they know, they, some, some of these, these peons, they don't really know what they are up against, man. You know, but, uh, yeah, verse 9. Verse 9, and these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites. What was he? And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites. Yeah, man, so, yeah, so the father, of the Edomites, man. The Edomites are the so-called Caucasians, man. Who are the people that, you know, turn red when they get upset or when they when they are all in their, you know, emotions, if they're happy or, or, or whatever's going on, and they run and they turn all red, you know? I played soccer with a guy, he turned freaking red like a lobster when he was, he can run the whole match when he was all red all over, man. That's these damn devils, man, because we have a thing called pigment, man. We have melanin. These devils lack that, man. That's why when the sun touches them, you know, they have to run into the shade, you know, like a cave dweller, you know, under the bushes, you know, eating them nice, the juniper, uh, you know, uh, from the juniper roots and all that, you know. They, that's what they are about, like in Job to, uh, chapter 30. I might have butchered it a bit. But th these are the ones that can't stand the sun, man. You know, that's what it is. So when they get that sunlight, they have to put on, you know, the, the sunblock. And if you go to the UV light, you see that when they put on sunblock, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, they turn dark, man. You have a Nivea commercial that shows you that. So that's the funny part. They talking shit. Yeah, let me get a tan. You, you want to be brown, man, but you can't. That's just what it is, man. And again, this is for the people, of course, uh, that, that are against this, man. You talking shit about y'all. We talking the truth, really. But to use, you know, and we also, you know, put in a little bit extra stabs in there. Because what y'all have been doing to us is, is far worse than that, man. All types of commercials showing us that we are uh, dirty, nasty, and all that. While we go back to the dark ages, even before that. But especially if we go to the dark ages, which they now... Through iconoclasm, you know, all uh, 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 whitewashed, you know, redwashed, whatever they did, they painted their images just like with the scriptures. You know, uh, they printed our images according to their image, man. All the icons now are, are so called white people, you know, from the, the Heavenly Father on down to the angels, to the prophets, you know, that's what they're doing. While it's all false, man, even when you go to Mozart, Bach, and, and uh, artists like that, because we are the, 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 the components of musical tunes, man. It's the book of Sirach also states. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, to the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yeah, man, so the mark there is Tawa, which goes into exemption from judgment. So, when the time comes that the judgment of the Heavenly Father is going to be unleashed, like, without, without mixture, then the angels will know, like, this is one of us, you know? The hunters will know, this is one of us. And that's what it is, man. There's a lot of people, they, 
Like I said, man, people are people are taking things lightly until shit hits the fan. You need to get right right now with the Heavenly Father, man, and stop, you know, procrastinating. You know, stop putting off from day to day, man, because you never know when you're gonna kick the bucket, man. So to say, you never know what's gonna. You might go out the house today, and something uh, or something might happen unto you, and then you will feel sorry, man. It's your mommy, I'll watch so, uh, you have, can you go back to the Genesis and then you can pull the rest of uh, the, the, the last sentence? You can read it again, verse 9. God. This is the book of God. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 36 and 9. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites, in Mount Seir. God. So, the, Esau is the father of the Edomites, man. And that's uh, 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 no Arabian can fit in there because the Arabians go back to Ishmael. You know, they don't have anything to do with the promises of the Heavenly Father because the promises are given unto the children of Israel, man. So can you read the... Uh, this is uh, Genesis. And, the, uh, Salak, and that's why if you read on, you have all types of things that go into... Uh, can you read verse 15? Verse 15. These were dukes of the sons of Esau, the sons of Elipas, the firstborn of Esau, Duke Timon, Duke Omar, Duke Seppo, Duke Ken, uh, Kenaz, Duke Korah, Duke Gatam, and Duke Amale Amalek. These are the dukes that came of Elipas in the land of Edom. Yeah, man, so you see that? So he also see that Esau has his dukes. You know, now you have to I'm barren. You know, with the, you know, I'm barren. You know, I'm and all them, you know, and we look down upon you Negroes. You have all these type of dukes with them, uh, even with uh, with that so-called dude Scott Disick, one of these Katrashians' uh, exes, you know, he calls himself also Lord, you know. They're all about these societies and these families and these, they, they know about their bloodlines. Jake be forgetting about uh, where they came from, man. You know, the whole head is sick. Israel doesn't consider, like Isaiah, the first chapter sa uh, says, man. And while they get in it, then they own some folly, mixing all types of things with the things of the of the church. You can't mix the church of Esau, Edom, and, you know, that, that um, slavery, Christianity, that slave, slave doctrine. You can't mix it up with the truth, man, you can't do that because why? You, you, you're gonna be messing yourself up. Because now you wanna take the things, you wanna eat what you want, you wanna uh, do whatever you want, and then mix it with the with the Heavenly Father. While the Heavenly Father says that you need to obey Him, turn not to the left, turn not to the right. You know? Yeah, man, that's another good one. It's the way of the heathen. Why did the Lord? Uh, uh, have a, had a problem with us going with other nations. Look at King Solomon. It's not about having multiple wives because King David in the book of Samuel, he received multiple wives from the Heavenly Father, man. There's also always some, 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 uh, there's always a scripture that, that I pull to show that, like, look, man, the Lord's down with that. But there's rules concerning how to deal with multiple women. It's, it's, it's very clear. And is it nowadays a wise thing to do? One woman is, <laughs> we already <laughs> with the vice, like, eh, you know, let alone more. Of course, you know, it's a little bit of jokes in there, but you know that among a thousand, none. But hey, like the elder, Manat Zakba said, like, hey, among so, uh, multiple thousand, hey, there might be one there because you have females coming back. It's also, they're also going to be delivered, man. So there has, to, there has to be someone out there that is right. But don't go out there and looking for, uh, you know, the, uh, that, that, that female that you like. Because you might, they basically fuck around and find out, man. <laughs> the yeah. more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. Let the, the Lord, way. yeah, man, you're going <laughs> to find out the hard way, man. <clears throat> Having babies and then she turns, in, uh, turns into a damn demon. You know, or, or even before that. So, uh, <laughs> but I can't read the, the 
Genesis 32 and um, yeah, this is Genesis chapter uh, 32 verse uh, 28 and he said thy name shall be called no more Jacob Look, uh, wait a minute um, can you start at uh, 24? 24 let's just go yeah. to uh, points real quick then I'm going to jump to something else this is Genesis chapter 32 verse uh, 24 and Jacob was left alone and there wrestled and there wrestled the man with him until the break in of the day and, and, and the funny thing is a lot of things that you hear back in the day like uh, you have the Japhetic people that said there was a demon female that came and if you would hold her to the, to the, to the break of day and the only way that you can strike her is like with the back of a knife and then you will hear a certain hollow sound or whatever uh, someone told me that back when I was younger you know a demon that came out and yeah if you could hold her till the break of the day then you can get the blessing but as I got older I was like hey man this is straight out of the scriptures man this is this because yeah, <laughs> read it you know and this shit can get you uh, in a certain state because don't forget demons they know who you are these spirits know who you are so they get at you real quick from while you're young so it's not a strange thing when you, you have children and they say something is there or they feel something there <laughs> They are closer to the spirit world than we are. So they are now from the spirit world put into the womb, you know. Now a few years here on the, on the earth, so they have a closer connection with the spirit world than, than you as a, a grown up. And you've been to some things. Don't think your children won't go to, to some things still, man. So it's very important to pray. If you have children, pray for your children and pray for a blessed house, man. That the Lord is uh, waking over you. Because especially in these last days, because there's more demonic activity, because Esau, Edom, you know, the so-called white man, he comes after the working of Satan, and he knows that to the left-hand side, he can get a certain, um, uh, he can get this information, just like the ones that are seeking after familiar spirits. You think Jake the only one doing that? Esau, he's he been doing that, because he's about that, man. He's the champion of that shit, man. He's been ruling through these left-hand uh, 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 entities, man. Of course, the Most High set him up first, but his working is after the the uh, he coming after the working of Satan. And you know that if you read the Book of Luke, the fourth chapter, among others, you see that Satan gave it the glory and the uh, the honor, all these things that are of these uh, uh, the modern day uh, uh, eon, the world, so the age of uninterrupted rulership, all the eons are here on the earth. Satan is the one that has the power to give one glory in this uh, damn earth, man. In this uh, time that we're living in. That's why I see a lot of Satan worshiping because that is what has to be done if you want to get some glory in this earth. Falsely so called because that is not glory, man. The glory of a sinner. You should be ashamed of yourself, man, if you do partake into... Uh, into these uh, rituals and stuff, man. But uh, can you read from uh, 12 again? Karma. Uh, 24? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled the man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint, and as he wrestled with him. And yeah, man, so you see here that this, 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 this wrestling was serious, man. But it's gonna, it's gonna explain itself, yeah? And he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Yeah, J Jacob's like, I won't let you go. He knew. He knew in the spirit, hey, this is not normal, man. Cause, yeah? And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob, and he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. So you see, his name was changed to Israel. Yeah, man. And that's, that all trickles down to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because they come out of the loins of Jacob and his sons. So Esau has nothing to do with that, man. Because Esau and, and, and Jacob came out of the womb of Rebekah, and their father is who? It's Isaac, man. So, yeah? 
Therefore, as a prince, hast thou power with the heavenly father, Yahweh, and with man, and hast prevailed. God, and uh, read on. And Jacob asked him, and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost uh, ask as after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, and I have seen Yahweh face to face, and my life is preserved. Yeah, man, so here he wrestled with an angel, man, with a, with a, with a power. And that's a messenger of the Heavenly Father, man. And this all had to happen for his name to be changed into Israel. And Israel in the last book of us is Yasha Allah. Yah, he shall prince Allah's power. For he's uh, 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 the prince of the power, man. That's a heavy, heavy title. You are the prince of God. That's a heavy title, man. But now you're all, uh, you know, in the streets, you know, gang, 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 you know, throwing up signs, being a damn moron, man. Bitch be clapping the cheeks, sliding down uh, the, the poles and shit, you know, pussy popping on the handstand, all types of themes and all types of things going on. Being degenerates, far from their, uh, 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 you know, from their true nationality and from their true heritage, man, from their honor, from their, uh, the thing that the Most High has bestowed upon us, man, that glory, because it's a glory when you are being called Yasha Allah, a prince of the power. That's the most beautiful title that you can have as a people, man. But here you want to be like the other people, so <laughs> the Most High gives you that beauty and yet you want to be like a cave dweller. Yeah, I was talking about y'all. <laughs> I felt it in the soul, like it was the guy was looking <laughs> Sound like, you know, walking on the toes. You know, they always they're like, yep, nigger. And these people are annoying as shit, man. The most I created the ultimate devil perfectly, man. The, hey, man, sometimes it's just, you get mad, but then you laugh, you be like, wow, the most I really, is 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 amazing, man. He made these people so horrible, so, so, so nasty, <laughs> crooked, but they weak. But they still can get you, on, get on your nerves like no other nation, man. That's how you see that Jacob and Esau from the get-go were enemies, man. Uh, now, yeah, we have to go into it anyway, because, uh, can you go to, uh, 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 can you go to uh, Genesis uh, 25? And, uh, can you go to Isaiah 48 and uh, verse 1? And can you get uh, Psalms 105 verse uh, 7? Yeah, read. Uh, this is the book of Genesis chapter 25 verse 19. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begat Isaac. And Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel. Syrian of Padan Aram, the sister to Laban the Syrian. Okay. And Isaac entreated Yahweh. And there you see that, you know, see the, the father of Rebecca as well. It's a Syrian man. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all not 100% Israelites, man. Y'all bunch of this, that. Talking about Mamzers and all that. It doesn't matter. We are so dope. We put a seed in everything, you know, that, uh, you know, that has a womb and a uterus and long hair and the you know, the, the the double X chromosomes. And an Israelite comes out, man. That's what it is. All y'all be talking about, oh, take a look at your forefathers, man. People be th thinking like, hey, he ain't looking like, he made the picture of Wesley Snipes. <laughs> looking at Wesley Snipes, looking at the, the dude. No, man, he ain't an Israelite, man. Y'all carnal as hell, man. Carnal people, man. Of the flesh. You don't judge according to the heart, to the mind, like the Heavenly Father thought. It's not about the outward appearance. The same thing when he chose David. According to y'all, he, 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 man, David is the smallest man. Yeah, he look at him. He, he, he all pretty and all that. You know, I don't, look at him, man. He ain't not a warrior. And he's the smallest one among them, man. Take, take, take another one of his family. 
Y'all, y'all like that, man. Y'all carnal, man. Y'all see men, but you don't, you know, you don't look at the spirit, man. Just at the outward appearance, man. If he has a gold chain on or whatever, it's some carnal bullshit that you saw. Extra, you know, uh, perpetual pushes through the media also to strengthen that mindset, you know, of being carnal. If you don't have this or that, a lot of rappers too, man. If you go to the carnal uh, piece of it, a lot of rappers tell you they broke, man. Nah, man, even Mason saw something real quick because that's what popped up to my mind. Like, hey, man, why Mason sharing this, that, uh, the bag? I said, he, I didn't have no bag, man. There was nothing. The outward appearance was like, hey, he got it going on. All that's a rental uh, in, in the vehicle, you know, vehicles in the in the clips. Yeah, man, rent the jewelry or just just uh, you know some props, some fake ass jewelry, man. Turn it fucking green in your neck. People think it's a tattoo. We be like, ah, shit, nah, man, it's a chain, man. It's just the shit of the chain, that, you know, <laughs> scratching at that shit. It's so fake, man. A lot of them is fake, and when they do have it, you know, it is uh, something that. They have worked for a long time, man. Or it has been given to, unto them. Because a lot of these, even these dresses that these bitches have on, on these, uh, uh, you know, uh, at these award shows and the red carpet and all that. Now, who's the sign is that? You always have the same name. Why are you sponsored, you bitch? That's what it is. Then you have to bring the dress back or pay a hefty amount of money that they a lot of times don't have. Because a lot of people now, they came out with the certain movies, they only made a couple of thousand, man. There was another movie uh, that, that came by that someone said, like, yeah, I only make a couple, made a couple of thousand. I forgot who, who it was, but a lot of things coming up. But to jump back to that, what? You were saying, yeah. But, uh, that is Howard. Yeah, yeah I saw that. That was him, man. Yeah, God, that was him. Because he, he's not talking about it, man. That's some crazy shit, man. I never, hey, that's power. That's how you see all the spirit words, man. Crazy. And you had them there. Yeah. Wow, ah, <laughs> man. That's so crazy. That's the same, hey, man. That's no sign, man. You see, so, so you be thinking, ah, you going to the, to the right pool. He has it right there. So it shows you that a lot of people, they have a certain mindset concerning these celebrities. They are nothing, man. A lot of elders been saying it. I've been saying it. You know, brothers been saying it like, look, man, these celebrities, you, of course, you've been grouped grew up, you know, not having a lot of money or not like that, and then you see people all glorified, the television puts a strong vision, you know, in your mind, and that makes you think like, hey man, this is possible, it's, it's out there, but it's it's very, very hard for you, why? Because these people are, you know, protected, they're sponsored, they've been set up just as a, basically a dancing monkey, and something that they use to let you know we ain't got it like that and if you want it there's a small chance that you can get it but if you want it you have to do certain things you don't know about what goes on behind the scenes man a lot of these people are sodomized man now with Diddy all the things are coming out you know uh, I saw some some other interviews here with Jagger right mm -hmm. you know about Usher because that book that his wife ex-wife Kim Porter wanted to bring out got a lot of these uh, these, these uh, you know these mole thugs, you know? These mo yeah, mo thugs, you know? H O M O thugs, you know, out it, man. Like up in the fifties or something like that. Usher, of course, with Diddy. You know what, what what went down? Chris Brown was there when he was uh, was younger. Don't know what, what what's up with him, but what there's a lot of things that went on there, man. A lot of abuse. It's not like all oh, there a bunch of you need to go, you know, beyond that. It's a lot of uh, sexual, uh, no, uh, uh, you know, they got great, it's a lot of abuse, and, and people bring their children there, man, that's the horrible, horrible part, just for a sack of money, destroying your, your, the, the soul of your child, man, for life, scarred for life, so all that glitter is not gold, man, for us, the glory, glory is being in your hour by showing y'all shy to the end while the world is chasing the bag. Well, of course, money is a defense, but there's a difference between having your integrity and uh, working for your daily bread than going out there for the bag and, you know, bending over for another guy, man. That's, that's horrible, man. I don't even want to, but you see, the things are going out, uh, uh, are coming out, and you see now even Terrence Howard. You know, a lot of people, oh, he's such a beautiful man. Oh, he got, he's there, he's, uh, you know, in, 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 in uh, it began with this, this, this fucking Iron Man shit. 
they, they kick them out. And honestly, you know, they, they use you, man. That's the Rock 13, man. Yeah, this is the book of uh, Luke, chapter 12, verse 2. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Yeah, man. And that's what it is. So everything will come out, man. And then you will look funny as hell. Doing all these, uh, you know, he did all these rituals. We are no one. You know what? No one's going to know about it. Only us. But if you stand here with us, this will never make, uh, be made public. Well, what does the scripture say? God, uh, let me uh, start from two again. This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 2. For there's nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the air, a closet, shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. Yeah, man, so all the sneaky things, man, that these people are doing is going to come out, man. But the same thing with us now, the things that we, uh, uh, you know, the truth is also going to be spread, man. On house tops, you know, you got their line go, 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 go through all, throughout, uh, throughout the earth, you know. You have the unicorn, you know. The, the scripture is talking about is speaking about the internet, it's speaking about the words of Yahweh Basham Yahushai being spread throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Because the end will come, and like the brother read in the beginning in Matthew 24, the end will come. But what has to happen, the truth has to be spread, man. Because no one will have an excuse. No one of Jake will have a cloak for the sins. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, yeah, is that so? So we've been telling y'all, man. The Most High rose up his prophets, you know, uh, uh, early. They rising up early. Before things go down, you can get yourself right. Instead of being, uh, uh, you know, all for the world, man. Because this world is going down. So you might have millions. But still, your your righteousness, that will deliver you, man, not your money. This is not something that you can buy your way out of. Or you come to this church and you can buy your ticket to the kingdom, like some West African yeah. pastor was saying. Madness like that got people uh, uh, lining up to go going to the church. But the fact is that that could not be any further from the truth, man. The truth is you need to get right. It's really simple, really. But yet, on the other hand, it's hard because a lot of our people don't want to repent. They want to stay lazy and in this world, and they want to do things their way, man. Because Jacobs is very sti uh, stu uh, stiff necked and stubborn uh, people. Matthew chapter 24 and 14. And this gospel, gospel of the kingdom, shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Then shall the end come. Yeah, man. He come out again, man. He comes out again. So, to all nations. You see, why, why? The all nations. Can you get Tobit 13 restrict? All nations. Why? You see? You see, y'all racist. You know, y'all racist. Y'all about black people. Black. You know? They always have to put the emphasis on, on the black. You know? Black Hebrew influence. Why you put the black in front of it? First of all, we're not black. My pants is black. My shoes, jacket. You know, jacket's a bit. Yeah, yeah, black. I'm brown, man. Dark brown. That's what it is, man. All these devils are colorblind till it comes to the uh, to nature. Here we have the black bear. And no, that's a brown bear, right? No, you idiot. It's a, it's a black bear. But when you see us, then you, you all, all of a sudden you're colorblind. Why? It's not that, it's on purpose because black means void of light, it means evil, you know? It's something that's negative. And we are the children of the light, y'all are the zombie, man, and the children of the day, not the children of the night. You know, because gross darkness covered the earth. Y'all want us to, to associate with uh, blackness, with nothing. We are a people, we are Yashallah, man. We went into it. You can read Genesis. Uh, uh, 49. You can read about it, man. You can read about Joseph with his sons Manasseh and Ephraim. And all with his brothers, we are the 12 tribes of Israel, man. A holy nation set apart above all other nations. But yet, there's a standard for us to meet, and that is to do the will of the Heavenly Father so we can be likened to Prince, uh, to, to uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 
kings and priests, man. You have to have a certain mindset, a certain, uh, 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 you know, lifestyle. You can't be, uh, you know, a health guru while you're shooting up crack or you shoot off you smoke crack and you're shooting up a heroin. You know, but you're the ultimate vegan and uh, you know lifestyle guru and uh, you know. We'll be back after this uh, commercial break. You know, I'm coming to find out, and that's 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 Hollywood, man. We ain't Hollywood, man. Hollywood goes into witchcraft too. We are for real. Y'all are at the top, man. We live this. This is a daily thing. This is a daily thing, man. This is every day. This is who we are. We can't fake who we are, man. And that's the thing. We, that's why they put that label black, Hebrew Israelite on us, like all oh, is something we just jump in yeah. and we act like it. Yeah, how are you, my fellow black Hebrew Israelite? <laughs> what are you thinking, man? We are your child, man. Can I say this, man? Oh, yeah, man. The, the, the Jewish people in the land of Israel, they never uh, claim that word, by the way. They never, you never hear them say Israelite. You know, they always say Jewish or Israeli, yeah. you know? Yeah. And always that black evil is a lot shit. Yeah, yeah. And, and they never said also B -H -I. white. Yeah. Of white, we are the white yeah. Jews. They never say that. Yeah, okay. But they put the stigma on black. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, they like it. And their own people are saying nowadays, uh, more and more, that uh, a lot of the Nigerians, the majority of them, uh, went into captivity, of course, the transatlantic slave trade, and you know that they are Jake, man. And it is. It goes to, to, to uh, uh, Igbo, especially the Igbo tribe, it goes to Hebrew, man. And it all goes all the way back to e Eber. And also, the father of uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, Terra, if I'm correct. Because you have uh, Eber, Terra. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and also all our forefathers, if we go back to, basically to uh, Genesis chapter 10, you can see all that, man, and these people claim to be uh, Ashkenazi Jews, while well, Ashkenazi is the son of Japheth, one of the sons, you have Ham, Sham, and Japheth, and they say, oh, we're the Ashkenazi Jews, well, how can you be two, you, you claim to be Shem, one of the, 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 uh, the bloodlines, you know, one of the descendants of Shem, and one of the descendants of of um, Japheth, because Ashkenaz is one uh, comes out of the bloodline of yeah man hey shalom hey shalom yeah man thank you man shalom you know Ashkenaz goes to uh, to uh, Japheth man one of the other sons of Noah. So you can't be two seeds, man. That's why the, the same trick they're trying to throw upon our people, which goes into the African American. You know, I have to say it like that, like in Blood and Bone. That devil really did it good, man. They, they, <laughs> you are African American. Yes, we are infatuated with your athleticism. You know, that shit. That scene was dope, man. Hey, see you, man. Show sure. sure. You know, uh, it's not exact, exact the words, but he, he came in that spirit. Yeah, we are, you know, they, they all like what we do, you know, sing us a song and then dance, like the song 137. Shut up and dribble. Yeah, man, shut up and dribble, you know, like the bitch said to LeBron James. That shows you, you do nothing, but yet you're throwing up all types of signs, tattoos on your chest for the boule and all types of societies that Esau, that's basically, that Esau allowed you to, to, to form because you are not welcome in his uh, club, you know? You're not welcome with in his club, you, 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 you still a nigga. We had to go uh, back, uh, you had the song of uh, the Isaiah 48. Isaiah 48, you want that? Yeah. This is Isaiah, chapter 48, at verse one. Uh, Hear ye this, O house, of, o house of Jacob, which are called by the name of Israel, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah, which swear by my name, by the name of the Lord, and make mention of the Lord Jehovah of Israel, but not in truth, nor in righteousness. Yeah, so there's a lot of people that 
call upon the name of the Lord, but not in righteousness. But the point that I wanted to make there is that we are Yeshua, man. We are Israel, man. You see? But still, not everyone that said, Lord, Lord, you know, shall enter into, shall make it into the kingdom of heaven. Because a lot of people, they are just lip service, uh, you know. You're just doing things to, to be a part of something. This is something that the Lord has chose you, uh, 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 he chose you out of the world, man. To be a part of, uh, you know, this. This is for real, man, you know. But uh, can you take up for me? Concerning the generations, Jacob and Esau. Uh, 25 verse 18, eh? 19. Uh, this is Isaiah of uh, Genesis chapter 25 verse 19. And these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begot Isaac. And Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel, and uh, the Syrian of Badan and Aram, the sister of Laban, and this, the Syrian. And this also shows you that bullshit that they be, that they be doing in this world. A man goes on a knee and uh, uh, asks a wife if she want to marry her. No, oh, back in the days, and even if you go to the book of Deuteronomy, I believe it's chapter 22, it explains you, you know, uh, and uh, you know, of course back then, by the attire of a woman you could see uh, whether she was uh, betrothed to a man, or whether she was uh, a virgin, or whether she was already uh, married, you know. So by the clothing you could already see, but nowadays, everybody looks single, you know. They all look like, the majority of them looks like uh, prostitutes, because they've been wearing those outfits, you know. Meanwhile, they have a man at home, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, nonsense, man. Nonsense, yeah. Yeah, yeah, do you, yeah you need to go to your knees and marry me. Yeah. <laughs> if the ring is not big enough, she, then she, she won't, won't accept it, you know. <laughs> nonsense. Yeah. And then you wonder why. Man, you remember that, y'all saw that clip that uh, last week? I think this week somebody posted it in the group app. Uh, yeah, this dude. You, uh, Nigerian dude, he had this singer for, yeah, yeah. for his, yeah, wife, that's for his wife, for his wife, so uh, a famous singer from Nigeria, and a lot of nigga bitches are like that, you know, yeah, yeah. so he had this, he had this singer, and um, so she, she really uh, liked that singer, and he was standing there, real messed up, he had a beard, you know, but you can see he had no, uh, you know, it's, it's not really bad, you can put a beard on, but that beard doesn't make you bad. It's a badge of honor, but it doesn't make you a man. You have to be a man first, you know. That's also what the scriptures say. You have to be a man first before you can become a man of the whole, of Yahweh Basham Yahusha, you know. But you had this dude, so he went to the, so he had this wedding, so he had this singer there. Then this, this singer came, and this female of him, that wife that he just uh, married with her, she went on the knees, she had her head on, on his bananas, basically, yeah, and, yeah. She, and she won't, won't, wouldn't let go. She yeah. He was just standing, he tried to pull her, and she was just... She didn't even look at she him. Tied him. Yeah, she didn't even look at him. She was there, <laughs> and, and he, the singer was singing a song, and uh, put his hand on her like this. You know? Oh, at the wedding. Yeah, yeah. man. This shit was shit. horrible, shit. man. Yeah, man. The dude was like, oh, man. <laughs> and he had females defending her. <laughs> yeah, it was a gospel singer. Hey, you shouldn't be on your knees no, man. Man. Damn, well, on no, this, man. On this banana, with your head on this banana, man. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, you awesome. just married. You're on the knees <laughs> for another man. You just married, man. But that is what these bitches are And these doing. females that want to talk about, you need to respect them and this yeah, and that, man. man. That's why the scripture told you, told, tell, telling us, you know, of course, uh, you give honor to her like a weaker vessel. You need to understand, you know, the most I didn't give her the knowledge that a man has, you know, the understanding that a man has, you know, but nevertheless, if you have a wife, you have to take care of it. But, you know, this, this is nonsense, man. 
gospel singer, man. Elder the so you got it. You got it. The picture this. So you already know this dude. He went on the knee for her well, yeah, in the beginning before he got married uh, with her. Yeah. Make sure that he had because especially in West Africa, you know, at Jake in general, they are all about material. Yeah. And, and yeah. West yeah, Africans, they, they they're all about that money. You know, I used to back uh, years ago. I used to. Do, I had the uh, West African female. Yeah, her and the mother were all about money, man. Everything was about money. Man. Weddings are expensive. <laughs> yeah, man. Crazy ass. Yeah, yeah he paid. He paid for for the big ass uh, uh, wedding. He paid for the big ass wedding. It's his son, right here. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna he put it here. <coughs> so yeah, he, he paid. You know, he have to rent the place. Yeah. The, the, the dress is uh, already in the thousands. You know. Yeah. And then, then the, 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 the bridesmaids need to wear the same, uh, almost the same outfit, you know. Yeah. Yeah. After the food, food, you know. Catering, yeah, man. The big yeah. ring with the diamond in it, you know. You saw what I posted also about the Thai uh, guy of Thailand. He was also was married with a woman. Then he had a, a little squabble with a woman on his uh, on his uh, uh, wedding, day? wedding day. Oh, I did saw that. Yeah, and then he popped, he popped her. He, he went to home. He took his gun, he popped her, he popped the mother, he said mother-in-law. <laughs> he shot the daughter. Yeah, he, he was so like, fuck y'all, man. He killed them yeah, all, man. That's, you know, of course, yeah. But that's what females do, man. They can get a man so angry. You know, they can uh, give give you the idea that, that, that you really, really made it. Uh, do you want a tissue or something? Tissue or something? Huh? I have to stand a little bit here, though. Gospel singer, you don't want another female to, to sit in there. She has just married to yeah, yeah, man. But you, yeah. You're supposed to respect uh, marriage, right? Exactly. That's what the Bible teaches, right? Yeah, church, but, but, but the most I put uh, together, you should know yeah, yeah, put no man right? put sleep. Yeah, 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 basically I just was. Yeah, we started to read with Genesis. Can you get Jeremiah chapter 5? Karma. Gospel music got a, got a demonic vibration over it. Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah. I just heard the apostle, uh, the elder apostle of Haas speaking about it uh, earlier this week. You know, he said, <laughs> he's going crazy, he said. <laughs> if, if I found any of you members of GM that's listened to, to, uh, to that gospel music, you get kicked off, man. <laughs> you know how we be, right? He could aim us up to eight. Was, uh, yeah. Well, that's 5 and 21. Uh, okay. right? Can I say so? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Something, you know, with my job, I come uh, in contact with all kinds of people, you know. Mm -hmm. I remember one time I was uh, painting at Dude's house, and you know, and he started to talk, you know, he's uh, a Moroccan, you know, uh, Japhetic. Mm -hmm. Could be Jake, you know, but yeah, and he was, and, uh, a lot of them, are, yeah, you have Jake amongst them. Yeah, but yeah. he was talking about uh, this and that, you know, he also lost his wife uh, by cancer and this yeah, and that. And, uh, you know, but he's a Christian, you know, so he wants to talk about the Bible and stuff. Yeah. But, you know, I just tell him some things only for Israel, this, that, blah, blah. And one day he came like, yeah, uh, what about tongues? I'm like, yeah, tongues means languages, you know. And he's like, yeah, but uh, when I, uh, sometimes I go like, la, 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 and then I feel uh, relief. I'm like, man, that's a demon. Man. That's a demon, man. <laughs> but I didn't say that to him, but in my <laughs> mind was like, man, you know, because, you know, you work for people, so you, 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 you um, how you say that? Harmless as a dog. You, you, yeah, 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 yeah. You just be like, okay, man. Well, and Clock my mind in. was like, man, hey, that's a demon right there. <laughs> yeah, man. He's like, yeah. Then I just go upstairs and I start praying, and then I go like, I go in tongues, and I feel real uh, relieved, and uh, I know that the most, uh, that, that God is hearing me, and uh, I'm like, man, the I'm like, okay, are okay. And then my mind was like, man, that's a demon. Man. God lower caps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, God lower. Some <laughs> other, some power out there that the Lord's, you know, released. On, on, Go talk, go talk to him. <laughs> rain man, rain man, really. Yeah, some demon, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. You want the Amos? Yeah, man. It's the book of Amos, chapter uh, 5, verse 21. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Yeah, same thing with, uh, with the, with the Ixmans coming up, man. This is uh, going into uh, Saturnalia. Which starts like around the like 20, 27th, 20, no, like 20, yeah, 20, yeah, early in the, 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 the 24, 25, yeah, yeah that's the, the Christmas evening, yeah, yeah, 25 is first, and 26, yeah, but yeah, it's so like about the 
21st or 22nd, something like that, like a few days or a week before the actual uh, so-called Isthmus is, uh, you know, is uh, actually there. Because that went into a Roman uh, pagan festival where laws were changed and you would, you would be allowed to uh, sleep with animals, small, ch small children, so uh, that spirit of uh, you know, feel spirit was. That's something that Esau always really, you know, carried out, man. And that's in, until this day. You take a look at uh, these these leaders nowadays, man, with their pizza and uh, and their all types of coats for uh, young children. You know, that's what they're all about. Yeah, you can read. It. But then we jump back to that. Yeah, it's the book of Jeremiah, chapter ten. At verse 1, hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto you. So he, Salah, your man, so this is, this is another thing. A lot of people, they jump on us, you know, get mad because we, we say certain things about these unholy days. This is something that we are all here to teach you the truth, man, not what you want to hear. You know, so if you have itching ears, you know, you need to wash your damn ears, man. And how can you wash yourself with this truth, man? So, itching ears goes into you wanting to... Here's something that relieves you, your spirit, your soul. This is not about what you want. This is about what the Heavenly Father wants. Because if you take a look at the, uh, the, around, man. Everyone is doing what, whatever the hell they want. Oh, I'm a good person. So, yeah, according to whose standard? To your standards, to whose standard, man? Yeah, standard of Esau, Edom. You, you, you do certain things, but you help an old lady across the street. Now you're a good man or a good uh, uh, female or whatever. Old lady who used to be a hard-ass hard racist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn demon. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, read on. So, again, from the top. So, you see that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, he's the one that is uh, telling us this, man. Here, speak. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said Yahweh, the Most High, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So don't learn the way of the heathen, man. And if you don't want to uh, listen to what the Heavenly Father has, uh, uh, you know, uh, said or is saying to his servants, the prophets, which he sends out since the world began, man. But just like in the book of Chronicles, you know, 36, 2 Chronicles 36, and uh, what was it, 16? You know, they have misused his prophecy. You mock, you scoff. Hey, but I just saw it in the book of Corinthians. We are fools for your house, shall I say? You know, so you might think that, oh, uh, we are laughing at us. It's going to make the message of the Heavenly Father, you know, less powerful. Well, you could not be any further from the truth, man, because, you know, the truth is the Lord is always right. And you are y'all a bunch of liars, man. Let the heavenly father be true, and, uh, and, and every man, or, and these, these men out there, they're talking this shit and liar, man. Because that's just what it go, comes down uh, to. Because the same thing with the C19, when that hit, and now they have a new strain, like a um, uh, pneumonia, or whatever is, is is going around in the Netherlands and all that. You know, people signing all types of bills here. You know, so you already know they're cooking up some next. Uh, uh, some 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 germs to be spread all over so y'all can be locked up in your house again and, and scream oh my god oh my god then you want to say oh my god but when you when you see people on the highways and byways talking about the heavenly father which you call uh, call god god is a, is a title god goes into uh uh, uh, uh power or in the, in the greek theos you know, he speaks about the Heavenly Father, but also Theos goes also into his representatives, man. Which is the, uh, which are the the, the the prophets of the Heavenly Father, the ambassadors. Someone that uh, is speaking in name of someone. We are speaking by the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. This is not our own interpretation. This is what we have to do through the spirit of the Heavenly Father. So if you don't believe it, hey, fuck it, more for us, man. Y'all are deserve more for us. Because we in the, the, the mind state now, like the elder uh, Amon Gabar said back in a like, long time ago, like, look, man, 
uh, the, the love of many. Can you get, get, get that scripture? The love of many. So uh, we can look it up. Yeah. Because you need to take it, look at it, like from all around, man, and just dissect it. What, what is this going into? Because if you tell someone that something's going uh, uh, about to go down and you don't want to listen to it, if you don't take heed, or you be like, ah, man, you're crazy, you this, you that, and the third, go get a job, or get, go get this, go get that. And by the way, this that we standing out here on a fucking Saturday, you fucking moron, doesn't mean that we have no jobs. And even if you go to Lowe's, the most high chance is the ones that, that he loves, man. So, hey, for us, you're talking that smack. Beautiful. Luke chapter 6, from verse 21 on down, the Lord told us that this is going to happen anyway. It's been happening to the prophets. So we need to leap for joy even. The Lord told us to jump for joy. You know, you only jump for joy with these dumbass songs. And you're too unlimited. You know, I want to scream, I want to jump for joy. You know, old classic. You know, the Lord told us before that, jump for joy. When these people are doing that, like basically be ecstatic. Be like, hey man, hey, y'all are the ones, man. Hey man, they want to stay in the house and play and then jump, right? Yeah, yeah, another one, jump, jump, jump yeah. Jump. You know, go in reserve, man. Yeah, man, offenses, hey, the must needs be the offenses will come, but woe unto him. To whom they come, man. Destruction unto the ones that bring these offenses, man. So you want to be offensive, you want to do all that thing, well, you, you come with your offenses, man. And the most I will bring his offense in, in, the, in, in, the, in the meaning of, you know, his weaponry, man. His judgments. And people already die, man. But when things really happen, then you get scared. Now you, you, it's all in you to be tough, to be, you know, taking this lightly. Wait, go ahead, man. Go ahead and you're going to get what you want. You're going to be judged according to your ways, man. You want to scoff, you want to mock. Then go right ahead, man. We've been seeing this for years. Until he so shut you up in your house again, he be like, yes, Lord, yes, master. You know, where's that thug life spirit then? Yeah. <laughs> you know, then you want to be all, 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 you know, be ready to, to, to uh, clean the pipes of these damn devils, man. Blow the flute. Then you know, hey, the motors, you know, coming out again. That's what you are, man. Only fucked up towards your own people. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, this is the truth, man. Only fucked up towards your own people. Y'all the niggas that told uh, 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 Pilate, you know, crucify him, crucify him, that y'all was shiny to be crucified, and then Barabbas needed to be freed, man. You're all about free Pookie and free, uh, you know, Ray Ray, you know, and all of them, man. You're all about them. Free. Y'all will, y'all will be back in the days with free Barabbas, man. With them T-shirts, making garments, free Barabbas, free Barabbas, man. That's what y'all about. And them same spirits are back. And you know what? The same spirits are going to be judged. Oh, wait, wait a second, uh, can you get that uh, first? Uh, it's in Acts chapter 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. You see, so because iniquity shall abound, sin upon sin upon sin, that's iniquity, man. The love of many shall wax cold. You see that people will be uh, 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 going against each other, swords in their hands, like 2nd Esther, the 15th chapter. Those are times that are coming. Why? Because of lack of bread, man. Don't think it's going to be sweet. You're going to stuff your face with all types of abominations for, 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 the, for years to come. There's going to be a time that storehouses shall be, uh, uh, shall be empty, man, because things are going to be, cutting, uh, be cut off, especially when, you know, Esau comes with the MOTB, the, the mark of the beast, which is another mark, another mark than Scobeo, another mark than uh, Tawa, you know, uh, 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 and if I could break it for another one, man, um, forgot about that one. But there's different types of marks in the scriptures, man. And that word wax cold means cycle in Greek. The, the translation of the word wax cold, yeah. those two words in the Greek is cycle. <laughs> <laughs> it means to be blow, cool by blowing, to be made or grow cool or cold. Yeah, man. So the word cycle, man. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Can you look up cycle in the, because that goes through the mind if I'm correct too. In the Ethem Online. Because a lot of y'all are going to have like, uh, you know, your mind, you know, messing with you, man. Your mind's going to be playing tricks on you. Why? Because if you don't stay upon the Lord, you're staying upon, uh, uh, you know, the things of the world, which is riddled with demons and all types of unclean spirits, man. They will leap on you, and you think you're right. You will think you're right, and you, you're in a good case until the judgment of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, will hit the earth, man. Yeah, and the many, the love of many shall wax cold. The elder Amon Gabar said, "Look, it's also." From us to, to, to y'all niggas, man. To y'all two thirds that have to that have to be destroyed in America. You know, one third will be uh, saved out of her, out of Babylon. The Lord will be his elect up in the fathership, and he will come with multiple chariots to blast up. Uh, you know, you call it UFOs, un 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 unidentified flying objects. Now it's EF or whatever. They change up the name because if people look it up, they be like, hey. We've been saying that this is real, but now you have the, uh, what was it? UAPs. UAPs? Yeah, U UAPs. Okay, I made a video about it uh, two days ago. So. Yeah, you can look up the, the acronym, the, the meaning of it. I forgot about uh, what it was. The Apostle Thaw often mentions it, man. They often mentioned it back in the days, but hey, this is something that now pilots, they've been seeing these things because the chariots be playing with them, man. They defy gravity. They can stop. And then go back. Esau's technology cannot do that, man. Why? Because his mind is not according to the ways of the Heavenly Father. The, the Most Highest mind is higher than uh, our mind, man. Just like the heavens are higher than the earth. So you cannot compete with the Heavenly Father. He created everything, man. He created our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. What are you going to do against the man that created our Savior? Come on, man. Think about it, man. The, the power, Salaki, the power that created, and he, he's a man, not, uh, yeah, oh, he or she, oh, she, let me shut the fuck up, man. The Heavenly Father is a man, a man of war, as, as the book of Exodus uh, states, man. It begins with the man. So, the Heavenly Father, he's from everlasting. Don't forget, even us in our, uh, 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 basically, you know, I want to say peon mind state of a set, you know, in this in these chains of darkness, we still have the male and female, you know, we have the X and I chromosome. When we lay down with a female, we decide what the hell's going on, man, because you only have the double X. Because if you had the X, Y, that means you, you are a man. <laughs> so, you need to just sit the fuck back down, don't let Esau, you know, Put the wine away, man. The carton, the box of wine that Esau serves you, man. The cheap ass wine, full of all types of philosophies and bullshit, because that was is, is what it is. All tough here, out on the streets, you know. You look cute to me, man. With them tight pants on, you know, with your with your with your you know walking all day, you know, with your booty poking out, you know. You're not a threat. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't even want to get into all the you know, you're not, you, you, you're looking cute. That's what it is. Some of y'all be looking like morons, but you're not, you're not an authority, man. Sit down. <laughs> Clown. Yeah, man, just take it easy, man. Just, just do what you need to be doing and you will have it good. Because in the kingdom to come, you will play your position. If, you, if you're if you in first base in the kitchen, that's your position, exactly. man. Exactly. Stay that's in the it. house. Take care of the family. Yeah, man, that's it. Roll. Yeah, man, <laughs> just sit down, crouch. You know, you be with the glove there. You just, you just receive. <laughs> we pitching the ideas, and you receive it, and you, you, you do whatever needs to be done for the team, man. That's also with the family structure, man. Then it will be going, you know, good because a man in his spirit, even if you're a damn nerd or whatever you are so-called uh, a, a nerd still if you have a little bit of you know masculinity in you you don't like to be dominated by no one man by, by a damn female a 
enforce this order when you come to, to camps and even at your job you have to adapt but in the family structure the, the woman is under the man and that's in the man's nature can I do for you Lord? yeah man that's that's yeah, the, man. that's what it is man Sarah called Abraham Lord So, yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, Karl Marx, this uh, UFO is uh, UAP, and that means unidentified uh, um, anomalous uh, phenomena. See, they're making it so confusing, <laughs> they, uh, confusing to the people that they be like, oh, what the hell am I forget about is it? That, is that the new thing? Yeah. yeah. Is that the new thing? That's not the UFO, it's uh, the, 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 what is it, the, the, the UAP? Phenomena, yeah. man, so-called, you know, it, it never, it, it, it's something like a phenomenon. It's a yeah, phenomenon. Yeah, it's it's, it's not like occurring that much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Can you look up the word phenomenon? Yeah, Carl. No, 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 no. I posted this in the group chat. You, uh, you read it? This, yeah. yeah. This this is another thing. I made a video about CIA it. CIA retrieved intact UFOs, and that's, that, that's, that's according to the Daily Mail. Yeah. <laughs> look, man, the most highest technology ain't going to be left. <laughs> that's Esau's technology, man, that shuts down upon you. The most high. This technology is perfect. Yeah, man. Wherever the the the, the, the spirits, uh, wherever the angels go, they went. The, it's perfection. The power of the Lord is not to be compared to the power of a man, which is given by the Lord with its limits. We have limitations, man. The Lord has no limits. He's omnipotent. <laughs> <laughs> this scene is so funny, man. <laughs> so other guy was like very slow going towards him, but he was spaced out in the delivery bike. <laughs> oh, it's funny, man. Yeah. Phenomenon. Yeah, really? You got the word phenomenon from a Bollock's dictionary. Uh, an occurrence, circumstance, or fact that is perceptible by the senses. Uh, an unusual, significant, significant or an unaccountable fact or occurrence, a marvel, a remarkable or outstanding person, a paragon, see synonymous at wonder. You know? It's a wondrous thing. It's, yeah. is, is it real? Because yeah. it's not, what did it say before that? Like, it's not really um, uh, uh, a remarkable. Remarkable or outstanding person, no, a paragon. They, 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 a little bit more up in the beginning. An unusual, significant, or unaccountable fact. Or An appearance. unaccountable fact. Unaccountable. What does that mean? Oh, it's not sure. It's you know. Can you look up that word? Unaccountable. To make it. Uh, we gonna comb it out. You know. And that this is what it is, man. Esau would like his soul doubt. He would like to have you under a veil of doubt and that's what he is doing through the television through social media and while he's at it he's creating all types of sluts hey what don't be offended i'm using the word that you told me to use you know you're the bad bad bitch a baddie you know <laughs> things that go bad stink they spoil I'm a baddie, I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm a, I'm a slut, I'm a bitch. But when we say it, then we, of, we offend you. But yet, on the other hand, you want us to do what you say. You know what's going on with that? But hey, I'm just talking shit, but you have slut walks out there, man. Amber, uh, Amber Rose with the slut walk and slut this, that, and the third. Come on, man. It's all to break down these females that are growing up, the next generation. And if you break the children, you have the, the, the future generation, man. The females need to be males. The males need to be female. That is how you break down the generation, man. And that's these, these, these damn Edomites, these so-called white people that are pushing this, man. If you hate it, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be pushing this, man. And the funny thing is, their children are now falling victim to the same agenda because now if you go on uh, 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 TikTok and sh the shit like that, like the uh, the elder uh, the elder Rafael said it, man. These social media platforms, you know, he's that the only what he, but it came down to this, like the social media platforms of today, 
are, are nothing but brothels and strip clubs, man. You have these young females, and yeah, of course, a lot of them look good to me. But the thing is, if you take a look at what actually is going on, they are in the room, you seem to get in the room young. Some of them are f uh, 15, you have them younger also. But you see the young, 15, 16, you know, some of them are older. You have different ages, man, but they are all hoeing. Makeup on, you see the, the skin is still, you know, in good shape. So you know that, because you know with the eater, man, a lot of times when they get a little bit older, you see it immediately, man. You see the lines in the skin and you see, it's, it's like, it's like, uh, you know, the, the meat that's gone bad, basically, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's the expir expiration date has been, you know, it's like way back already. So, with these, they young. Makeup on, hair all looking healthy, and then they throwing up their legs, so called twerking, throwing up the leg way up there, twerking. Then the, the girlfriend does some shit. It's nothing but hoeing, man. Nothing but, hey, but that's what the scriptures say. N no, not only that, um, yeah, the, the wife shall be a, a harlot in the streets, you know? And don't prostitute thy daughter. You know, you have people out there that actually do that. Now go on and, and make an account for mama, making that money. You have a chick that is out there with a mother, uh, with a sister and a mother. And the, hey, and the mother, the, of course, if you look at them, they look good. They look fucking, fucking, fucking fine as shit. But still, the idea, because that's how they get away with it. Like, damn, she, she, she looks good. But if she looks good, shouldn't she have some, every female should have some self-respect, man. Instead of being out there, because you are nothing but a whore. Shaking your ass, bikini pictures. I was even uh, checking, uh, what was that bitch, uh, the name? It wasn't James Bond, uh, Elizabeth Early. Oh, Elizabeth Early. It's a, it's a pretty female, man. Especially for her age. Look at, like, well, what the hell are you doing, man? Hey, you know, the vampire, the vampire juice, most likely. But she looks, uh, the skin looks good. I'm, I'm like, well, whatever they doing, hey, it's working. But still, you have children, you're out there, almost every picture is a bikini shot, you jiggling your titties and all that. It is still a shameful thing for your children, man, but only to be out there with two million followers. Yeah, what's your mother doing? Yes, yeah, she's an actress. Oh, I saw her on Instagram, shaking her ass in the tits. And she's up there, uh, uh, wrecking the, uh, almost 60 or, or now. But if you look at her skin, it's, it's crazy, man. But um, there's a lot of the, a lot of these, these these females that are out there with the mothers on social media. That's that's that's, that's, that's but that's the scriptures, man. Now, why should be a harlot in the city? Can you get that in uh, Hosea? And uh, we had something. Yeah, because she was talking about uh, these uh, these uh, women that they whore themselves and they kill them, but also mm -hmm. the pedophiles are on uh, Instagram, connects fast pedophiles network. But when we are speaking the truth on the internet, all our channels getting banned, you know, but these pedophiles, they have a whole hop on uh, Instagram and on TikTok and uh, of and fetching these uh, uh, the young children, man. And that's just what is going on, man. This is a wicked, corrupt world, man. Yeah, man. And that's, that's also to, these, uh, uh, to money, because what are these females out there for? They love money. They, lo they love to buy uh, material things. So if one of these uh, dirty uh, bastards you know, steps to them with a little bit of cash. That's that's them, man, going to uh, on the trip. And that's that's what it is, man. They're holding themselves out for the material uh, wishes, man. But can you go back to... Uh, so the love of many so so wax called... Yeah, and, uh, yeah, Jeremiah 10. Yeah. The love of many shall wax called. So, you know, for us, it's also like, hey, man, Jacob want to hear... Hey, what are you here for? Oh, for bear. Hey, so be it then, man. Yeah. You have the word psycho? Yeah. yeah. It comes from psychopathic, you know, and it means pertaining to or of the nature of psychopath, psychopathy. Psychopathy. 1847. From psychopathy, one model of German 
psychopathics from Greek psych, which means mind. She plus, goes to the mind, man. Plus pathos, which means suffering. <coughs> so the mind is suffering. That's where the ghost, ghost can go back to. And also, of psycho, the mind, if you go, and he, the brother looked up the word uh, wasco, right? Uh, that went to psycho. Psycho, yeah. So, the blowing off, and you like, and shit will be like, eventually, if you have hot food, you blow your food, it will go cold, right? So, now, <laughs> it's funny, y'all be huffing and puffing, like, man, all that shit. Uh, we be like, okay, cool. That's basically what it is, man. Now we grow cold. The Lord is it's like, you know what, fuck him. Because that, if, if a man doesn't listen, Matthew 18, treat him like a heathen and a publican, man. A heretic after the second admonition, you want him, trying to motivate him, like, hey, man, let's go, man. This, the, the Lord's, man, I ain't got time for that, man. I need to keep money, man. But that Bible ain't giving me no money. You know, my children can't eat no books, like that nigga said, man. Mm -hmm. That the what was that guy? Some so, sort of comedian. Yeah, I made a video also about Wills or whatever his yeah, name Wills, is. Yeah, Wills. Wills. I forgot his uh, name, man. Uh, was Wills? Something with a W or whatever yeah, his Wills. name was. Man, y'all need to corny, man. They, they, man, y'all gonna be, y'all gonna be, hey, the Lord gonna go roast y'all, man. Yeah, I was thinking that. Was <laughs> yeah, man, roasted corn. Y'all be corny. You gonna be roasted corn, man. The Lord gonna have some. <laughs> he gonna torture you in these planes, man. You know, you wanna follow your heart, you wanna do all those things, you wanna do your own thing, you lean upon your own understanding because all that wisdom, all that wisdom, what good is all that wisdom? My kids he can't eat no wisdom. What did King Solomon ask for? He asked for wisdom, he got everything, man. Dumbass, you stupid as hell, man. Jake is dumb, man. That's why love is Western call too. For us, it's not only these people one against another, it's also with us, it's enough if the wow, if you warn people multiple times and you're being scoffed at, people talking shit, you know, you're going to get got. The Lord's going to pull away that mercy because the mercy is now here. The arm is stretched out, y'all spitting in, 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 in the hand, basically, man, by spitting at the, at the prophets. And it's lucky that I say it like that, but the disrespect is like that, man. Spitting on the floor, spitting towards us, or whatever you want to do. Eventually, when the Lord comes back with the judgment, it's over. It's a wrap, man. And in the kingdom, you're going to have your head down for a long ass time. Oh, you that nigga that this, that, that this, that did this, that, and the third. Because don't forget, man, you will, be, you will be rewarded according as your work shall be, whether it be good or evil. Don't think the Lord ain't checking you out, man. Yeah, man. But you know, with the other thing also, when the hunting begins, you know, there you go, there you go, get there that you motherfucker. Go, you go. That's also what he said, man. Get that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Get that motherfucker. <laughs> you know, that's also gonna happen, man. Because if it will be, uh, can you get Jeremiah uh, 16 to 16 for that? And uh, read the Jeremiah. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which your house speaketh unto you. House of Israel. Thus said Jehovah, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Oh, what is that? Ah! You know, dismayed all scared and crazy shit going on in your mind. Of course, when you see a chariot, you be like, hey, God, love Yahweh, Bashan, Mashiach, it's the glory of the Heavenly Father. Like, we're not going to be traveling towards some fucking place, sitting down in the folding chair, you know, get the 3D glasses on, looking at the eclipse or whatever. Nah, man, that's the, what these heathens are doing. Being on the news, you know, yeah, but there's an Aspen and Eclipse and the Bumble 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 Bumble, whatever they say, with their freaking uh, light ass voice, low bass in the voice. <laughs> but they, you know, on the news, it's a say something about news, and it has been an Eclipse and the Bumble Bumble Bumble. You know, they'll be going to the moon again, and then the China be going to the moon. All kinds of madness, man. We are about the truth. Stop the madness. And the, the, all the, the pseudo signs that they're throwing out there, signs falsely so called, man. To, to have real signs real, is, is to know. Signs with the science to know. Knowledge. To know. The scriptures are about knowledge, man. Yeah, but the boy, son, knowledge itself, son. No, man. 
Yeah, not as of self, but through who? Through the Heavenly Father, man. Yeah, that's right. And that doesn't go into that all, you know, uh, seven percent and all the, the knowledge of the, what was it, the other thing? The gods and the earth and all that bullshit. It's about the scriptures, man. Why can't you stick to the scriptures, man? Because then you have to change, man. And y'all don't want to change. You want to have that glory for yourself. We need to do everything in the glory of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Give glory unto him, man. That's what the scriptures say, man. We are servants of the Lord. Not servants of some, some goddamn rapper, man. This is yapping off his mouth. Putting words together. The Lord put the earth with word together, man. The Heavenly Father, His Son, Yahweh Shai, is the word. This is all for us. And it's... This is the most valuable thing that we have, man. Next to the, the, the spirit, of course. This is this is our, our, our guide, man, to the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. A lot of y'all want to be guided by some 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 niggas in the in the in the hood, man. When they fall off, what then? Yeah, read. This is uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 6, verse uh, 20. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoiding profane and fame babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called. Grandma, can you get in the second chapter? So we need to stay away from that, man. That's the opposition that goes against the Heavenly Father is uh, his, his will. We need to stick to the scriptures. That's why we come out, we, we speak to these uh, words, man. If we don't speak according to the to these words, it's, it's because there's no light in us. We, but we speak according to these words. And a lot of people out there, they don't speak according to it. They don't, they don't uh, act according to it. So what are they doing then? You act according to your own heart. You that follow after your own heart, you know, you're a fool, as, as, as the book of Proverbs states, man. When the heart is deceitfully wicked. You, one time you can think this, the other time like, oh shit, I was wrong. Well, it's a hell of a mistake to make uh, when it comes to life and death situations, which is this, man. If you don't get right, you know, the Lord gonna get rid of you, man. There's only the ones that love the Lord. The rest is scattering abroad, man. There's only a yes or a no. You not want it, you don't know. That's a no. You want a million dollars? Ah, no, no, I'm not, not, man. You will say yes, right? But this is the ultimate. This is more than millions. This is more than millions, you know? This is next level, man. This is eternal life, spiritual power, rulership over your enemies, being at peace, man. That alone is, is enough for me. I want to have, I, hey, I, I say it often, man. I say, I say it, like Fog on Legon said, you know, we want to have it all, man. Like the elder Malcolm I said, man. I want to have it all. All the bullshit that we went through, man. I want to live normally. A normal life, man. But with the superpowers, of course. That's, that's more, but, you know, the rest, again, normal living, rest. Not Esau with his things, oh, you need to pay this, you need to pay that, you need to pay such. That's why Jay, going back to where, you know, where they came from nowadays, so, so-called to Syrian, to the, to, the, to, the, to the islands, you know, going, going to, to some place to just, even when you're with brothers, you, you are addressed, man. You have, like, that, 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 that strong tower that you can all sit in, man. In the name of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, the name of the Lord is that strong tower, the righteous running into it and it's safe. You feel like you have a little sanctuary there, you know, you can sit together, pray, you can, you know, you know just chop it up, man, with like-minded men. That alone is all, 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 already like a, 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 a glimpse of peace, man. You can be you can be yourself. You don't have to be like, a, you know, some, some guy with a mask on, you know, at the job. <laughs> laughing at the uh, at these at these devils or sometimes you'd be like hey psst. but you need to be wise and service harmless as a dog because if, if if you be that lone wolf at the job all the time you you're singling yourself out to be a weirdo don't forget you know but they don't know the truth man so if you single yourself out in a certain manner you you you're the guy that looks all all fucking crazy you know sometimes it's, it's cool to be by yourself but hey don't be overdoing it because then you'd be like singling yourself out like hey this guy is anti-social da 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 and all that man but what did you want to say you saw the video of what's in the heart yeah man yeah man yeah man 
So you saw the video of uh, Apostle mm -hmm. Tahar, um, and uh, he uh, was another J, uh, of another brother, Apostle Sir uh, prophesied in uh, England. He's not from TMS, but they went uh, by a Jamaican, uh, an old man, he walked by, you know, and he was like, hey man, I'm sick of Babylon. He was really old, you know, he was like 70, something like that, gray hair. Mm -hmm. And he said, like, man, I'm sick and tired of Babylon, man, because he came also from uh, Jamaica to England to work, you know, and catching hell in England, you know. He was sick and tired of the, 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 the fussy wolves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said it like that, you know, the chichi ones. He was yeah, like, hey, I cannot see the this. Yeah, the moles, he cannot see. He said, I cannot stand it anymore. And Boston Tarr said, you see, he's facts, man. Jake is facts of Babylon, man. Jake can't stand it anymore, and especially the older Jake, man. They'd be like, hey, man, I went from, like uh, the brother he was saying, I went from uh, Jamaica, I went to England to work, and catching hell over here, man. So no rest, man. Mm -hmm. And Jake is still there, and Jake is waiting for uh, for a, and a savior, you know, but they cannot find it because he was talking about Marcus Coffey and all these things, but you, you know exactly. And that was Apostle Tar was saying too, like, hey man, Jake looking for the savior, but they don't have the truth. And the brother over there, he was talking about, hey man, hey, the scriptures, man, that is salvation. And you know why we're in this condition? Like the brother is saying, because of our iniquities, man. Yeah, man. And he didn't understand that, you know, and then he stand a little bit, listen, but you know, the older Jakes, you know, it's the old bottle, you know, mm -hmm. you know, so the new wine, he couldn't uh, gra gasp, uh, grasp it, you know, so, yeah, man, but then you see that Jake is really searching for the for the Savior, man, they, yeah. want, they, they want that, man, yeah, man. Jake is tired, man. He's sick and fucking tired of being sick and fucking tired, yeah. you know, it's, 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 man, sometimes, you like, sometimes, a lot of times, you, you don't want to be murmuring, but you be like, man, I had enough of this shit, man, but this is what we... Yeah, but especially yeah. now, when it's getting colder again, I'm not made for the cold, man. I can go through the cold, but hey, fuck this shit, man. Especially when, if you go, like, back in the days on vacation or whatever, you know, <laughs> the cold, I hate, I possibly hate the cold, man. We all tight, you know? You, you bump your fingers, <laughs> the birds be flying away, <laughs> you know? You see here, there you go. There you go. At the job, you all fucking cold in the. Oh no, you know, you're working for years. Oh no, I can. He's standing there in his shorts and shit. I'm like, you psycho, man. It's fucking freezing, man. All types of fucking things, you know, snow cones coming out. It's crazy, man. And people be happy and shit. I hate this shit, man. For um, white Christmas, they yeah, they open I just wanted to shit. say that. I don't like the snow. You know, I'm not the man. This is the shit that made me mad. The fucking snow, all the fucking cold, man. Breathing out, ice cones throwing down, being being kicked on the floor. It's gonna snow tomorrow. Man, I don't, I don't I really, hate the don't, snow, man. I don't really hate the snow, but I hate to be out. In I snow. hate to be out in the snow. I find it beautiful. It's a place to look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know why? It's like I like I like in the car, you know. Throw the car a little bit with yeah, 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 yeah. empty yeah, parking lot and stuff like that. <laughs> no. You'll be inside looking outside, but you have to go through the snow to be outside. That's that's my stuff. <laughs> Yeah, and the, that's that's the bullshit, man. That's the shit they make you mad, <laughs> you know? That's the shit, man. Because if you look it from the outside in, just like when it's raining in your, in your bed, it's fucking, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, you're yeah, nice yeah, and warm yeah, and you yeah, appreciate yeah. what you have, you know? Yeah, you're, you're nice and warm. Yeah, yeah. A good movie on television. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you're chilling, you know, you have your tea or whatever going Move on. Move above your head. But if you go out and you just work on that shit, you'll be like, my god, damn, this is Man, mm -hmm. Your kid running up to you, yeah, yeah, little daddy, let's go outside. Yeah, they want to jump in the bus. They want to jump in the bus. Like, fuck yeah, that. I don't know about that. You're with your mama. <laughs> yeah, but the beauty I'm is. Uh, you to your mama, then you can jump in all the puddles that you want. <laughs> Make a snow. Make a snow. Snow, snow man. But hey, if you, take, if you take a look at the snow. No, without the... Like the flakes, like how they make the flakes. This is how you see that there is a creator, man. Yeah. Another one of the, the, the signs that you see that, hey, man, the most high is... This is like when you take a look at the crystals of the snow. To us, it's just a white, you know, mass of, uh, you know, a cold, freaking, uh, you know, substance, a cold substance thing. The most I created it beautifully, man. 
So this, these these are all things that show you that there is a creator, man. There is a creator, man. And a lot of people they yes. yeah, man. A lot of people they they just want to give all the credit to you know Esau his theories, man. Bang, and that was life. Yeah. Last yeah. thing, I, last time I checked, when when, when bombs or shit went off, people yeah. died. Damage game, man. Yeah. Creators and all that. There's a lot, lot of life sprouting out over there in Gaza. In Gaza, yeah, yeah man. man. We should be, 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 be happy that this yeah, shit yeah, happened, man. right? They're dropping bombs. It's life giving. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's not the same, you nigga. The Stop of, it, the nigga. Son of, the son of perdition. You don't have to, you don't possess the knowledge yeah. that we have. Yeah, 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 you yeah. are black. Yeah, you are. You know, black. the word black has to get yeah. thrown yeah, out. Yeah, 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 always. <laughs> but you had something, uh, uh, you had the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, the Jeremiah. Yeah, Salafia. The second Timothy about um, yeah, verse. Uh, verse ten. Till uh, they can just read on. Concerning the suffering, that's a beautiful part, man. Think at first Peter chapter 4, and start from verse 1. This is 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. Yeah, man, so Paul was also like, you know, even in Philippians you read about that he wanted to be with Yahweh Shai, but it was for our uh, uh, benefit, you know, and for our furtherance, which is uh, our benefit, that he stayed. Because he needed to, you know, guide the, the churches, right? You know, by his epistles, by uh, you know, appearing unto them, you know, uh, exhorting them, motivating them, you know, uh, warning them from the times to, uh, for the times to come, and to stick together, to be like-minded, you know, to have faith in Yahweh Shai, to, to, to arm yourself with the same mind, you know, to know who your enemy is. All these things are very important, man. To know who you are, man. To know who your enemy is, 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 is that's like. The thing that Esau wanted to keep away. Oh, we all this Bombaya, we all the same, all colors are the same, and you know, there is no color, but yet you called me black. <laughs> but all is the same, you know. You see what he's doing? It doesn't matter who you are. It's all for the love. What's the love, you damn devil? Oh, no, don't, don't read that. <laughs> stop! I don't stop it! <laughs> Jesus has no color. <laughs> he is all colors. <laughs> He's all colors. This He's madness, man. What they teach you, man. He, he failed. He failed. As but well. yet, it, it happened to be that he looked like you, man. <laughs> yeah. Why he doesn't look like me then? Oh, that's blasphemy. <laughs> blasphemy. <laughs> Stop it. Quiet. In the church, you demon. <laughs> Yo. In the name of it, I'll cast you out of this church. Yo, don't mind, brother, is such and such. He's a devil possessed being. I don't. I tell all you people in this congregation, don't have no communion with him, yeah. lest that demon jumps on you. And the biggest demon stands in the pulpit, man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, man. That's what's happening in these churches. And the image, this image, this is God. You know, this is what they say. They've been te telling us that. And now we read the scriptures. It looks like a Negro. It doesn't matter. Why? Why do you put up that picture? Then? Is that why? Why supremacy, man? Yeah. That's what it is. They fucking with your mind since since you you were young. Because if you put that image in the in the front of your your children, even as a grown up, it does something to your to your self esteem. It puts you down. And when you find out that it is the opposite, that it does, that the Lord looks like us, or we look like the Lord, it's not for you, you know, to be created. And we are the we are the created creature, we are the creator. So that that gives you a, a, a self a, you know, a esteem boost, man. So we are reading. Deceive the world. <laughs> yeah man, that's what they that's what that's what they do, man. That's what they're doing. You know, in the book of Revelation. You know, the iconoclasm, man. That's that all goes into that. So yeah. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation, which is in Masiach, Yahushai, with eternal glory. 
it's a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. Yeah, man, because the Lord, what did he do? He lived according to the Spirit, man. If you sow into the Spirit, you will reap life everlasting. But if you sow into the flesh, you want to do all the things that you, oh, yeah, I want to do this, that. You want to put the spiritual things aside. You're going to reap corruption. You're going to be lazy, sloth. Before you know, you ain't going to do shit. You know? Um, start from verse uh, Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Masiyak, Yahweh Shai, with eternal glory. You see, that, that eternal glory that's coming, man. We, like it, like it began with, like it began, began with, you know, we are all here to preach the gospel through the, it's for the elect, man, for the electos, the ones that are chosen among the chosen people. You know, we have so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but a lot of them are a bunch of niggas and are a bunch of, uh, bunch of gang members and, you know, people that are just a waste of space, man. This is fulfilling their, 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 their part as being the wicked in this earth, along with the wicked, you know, the emphasis on the, which is, you know, the son of perdition, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. He has his, his minions, and you have our people, don't make leagues with them. Sorry. But I can't beat that. So we are out here for the elect's sake, man. We are the sound, we are all the elect ourselves. You know, lest I myself become a castaway, because we preaching, but we need to practice what we preach as they say in the world. But that's the thing, man. We need to do the things that are written in the scriptures, man. As uh, you know, to the best of our ability, without being overly righteous. And without being overly wicked, because you can do everything so-called, you want to do everything perfect. We need Yahweh Shai. We can't do everything perfect, man. That's why we're on the grace. Oh, I eat pork willingly. Yeah, man. That's, 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 the takes out there to eat eating pork, man. <laughs> it's called a Yahweh Shai day, you know. Uh, you know, we got the this, and we got the baby bag with all the, oh, the, the freaking pork. In, 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 in. All types of uh, Coca-Cola. So yeah, yeah, Coca -Cola. Coca -Cola, Coca -Cola, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Marinated and Coca-Cola. I'm like, man, man, this is the 